We think about a thousand people a year die of epilepsy. Now, some of those will die as a result of a seizure, usually status epilepticus, so a seizure that doesn't terminate of its own accord. They may die of an accident or an injury, but we think about five or six hundred people a year die unexpectedly as a result of SUDEP. The research so far seems to indicate that being a young adult puts you at slightly higher risk, as does being male. Also, having learning disability as well as epilepsy seems to increase your risk. But one of the major risk factors seems to be not taking a medication as prescribed regularly, and that's something that you can obviously easily avoid. Also, if your epilepsy arises from an area of damage perhaps in your brain or even from a metabolic disorder also seems to increase your risk of SUDEP slightly. Currently, the causes of SUDEP are not fully understood. There are two areas that they think are potential causes, one being the respiratory centre in the brain and another perhaps being cardiac problem. Research is still needed to further investigate the causes of SUDEP so that we can further minimise the risks.